What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about the drill culture. They know I'm like a drill historian. So, you know, occasionally people will run up on me and say, hey, Truth, and they'll ask me questions about the drill culture. A lot of people are always asking me things about the west side of Chicago. Today, I'm lucky enough to get an opportunity to speak with a person who, in my opinion, I think is a legend. Now, for the people who don't know what's going on, you'll let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. Oh, man. Stunt Taylor from out west. You know, that one of them, one of them niggas. Okay. Now, you just said something I want to touch on, okay? What's you up? said out west. Um, is it like a certain neighborhood? Because I see a lot of rappers be screaming like blocks and stuff. Yeah, I mean it's it's a lot of it's a lot of blocks out west. It's, it, it just it just depends on like where you from. Like, okay. I mean, <clears throat> out west go from. Uh, I mean, I would say Fullerton because you know the Spanish you got the Spanish people over there. Okay. So I would say Austin to Fullerton, up to shit. Goddamn. Damon, Ashland, yeah. right. back down to Cermak, all the way back down to Cicero, from Cermak to like Cicero, because when you get right there, that's the suburbs. Okay. So, I mean, out west, like a big ass box. Like, I can't really think about it off the top of my head, but it, it, it's a big ass box. You feel me? Right. And everybody, everybody know each other. You know, it's a lot of rappers that kind of blew up earlier. You know, before the drill culture in Chicago, the crucial conflicts, right. the do or dies, the twisters. They told stories of like, you know, a lot of mellow shit on the West Side, a lot of player shit, pimping shit, getting money. Stunt, when I look in the newspapers now, I see a lot of shootings and shit. Yeah. What changed? Uh, the dynamic, man. Uh, the kids. The kids changed the dynamic, you know? Kids. The kids, because. Okay. What the kids like is what become popular. What what people our age like ain't as popular because right. the kids is the new generation. Okay. They the new future. So whatever they say cool is cool. You know what I'm saying? So they, I mean, unfortunately, most of the kids took to the to the bad side. You feel me? And um, you know, whether you from the streets or not. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be trying to hide that. Man, man, that, I ain't, that shit ain't cool, bro. A lot of niggas don't be wanting to say that. You know what I'm saying? When they hear shit, a lot of them be like, oh, that's some silly shit. A lot of street niggas don't be wanting to say that because they be, they, they, they be so scared or so nervous or, man, if I say this on camera, man, a motherfucker might think I'm a goofy. So fucking what, dude? Like, don't nobody, like, at the end of the day, don't nobody get no. They don't care about none of that shit, bro. Do the is the rap music influences? Yeah, a it big, a big, it's, it's very huge, bro. Okay. A lot of these kids ain't got a mind of their own, so you know a lot of kids are virtual. A lot of kids they I'm like to virtual. write. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids are virtual. Half of these badass kids that's out here doing all this shit, they probably not even in real life badass kids. But whatever they see is what they see, they're going to take to it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids ain't, they always say like, man, we don't got enough opportunities. A lot of these kids don't want them opportunities too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, it, it, be, it be up and down. I be like, damn, Joe. Damn. You know? You know, you had a song called Fifi on the Block. Um, I think you kind of explained it in the interview you had. It, that's like kicking it, having a party, everybody hanging yeah. out and shit, right? Is that still going on or the block's empty? Now? No, so man. I mean, out west is out west. Out west always lit. It's always live. I oh, see so you can hang out still? I mean, to a certain extent, not really. You know what I'm saying? But the music fucked that up. Like, like we, like you got you got everybody that started rapping and coming out in like 2012, 2013, 2014. If you came out like in them three years like that, you know, you made like a, a, a big positive stamp. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got the drill artists like Herb and all them was doing that shit. Keith, Dirk, you know, you got, you got, you know, you got niggas like that doing that shit. Then you got the Chance the Rappers, the Vic Mensas, the Sabas. Then you got us. 
the Stunt Taylors, the Sicko Mobs, NBE, D Lo, Chemo, Big Sexy. And then, you know, SBE, you know, right. you got you got us, Mikey Dollars, right. Lil Chris, right. It will. Right. You got us. Shout out to Bro No. You know, we from the same, we from the same hood. You know what I'm saying? So like, it it it's like you got us, you got them, you got them, and it's all different. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like people was really trying to like the the shorties that's doing all that crazy shit now. That's the, them the same little motherfuckers that was just dancing the Fifi on the block when that shit was hot. Right. Them the same little bad motherfucker that was just you know different. And and when times change, shit shit changed. You know what? I remember when Fifi came out. Um, I don't know. This might be a weird question, but I want to know: Was you like the first rapper to bring the bop out? Because I seen D-Lo and Chemo D- earlier in your video. D-Lo, D-Lo and Chemo was. Dancing, right? They weren't really making no music. Um, Breezy Montana, shout out Breezy. He he was making that. All right, Breezy Montana was rapping, right? Okay. When I was in college, I was way in school in New York. I'm seeing like, oh man, I know, bro. He look familiar. <laughs> it's Breezy. So, um, Lil Prada. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Lil Prada was doing it. Uh, Breezy. Um, who else? Lil Mouse. What like, about like DJ Nate? I remember him. I'm finna get to that. He started it. He started it. He did it first. Yeah. I was finna get to it. Uh, okay. He he started. It. He did it first. So all credit to DJ Nate. He started, it, bro. Yeah. He that's that's him. Cause when I was young, he was popping. And when I, I'm talk, we're talking about when I was young. We're talking about 2006, 2007, 2008. Lil Mama bad as hell. Like, that shit was wrong. The auto tune wasn't there, but DJ Nate know how to sing, though. He got a nice little voice on him. He had all of the, the basement parties. That bitch was cracking because of him. You know what I'm saying? So, when you want to come to, when you want to say melodic, that melodic sound, it was I, me. I'm, I'm just being honest. I feel like it was me, Sicko. Right. I can't forget Bro Now. Breezy, Montana, Lil Prada. I mean, I feel like us, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we we was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, Lil Prada was rapping for a long time. Shout out Lil Prada. You know Lil Prada? I heard it. He heard him, but yeah. he was right for a long time too. Yeah. DJ Nate wasn't really doing them a lot of shit like that okay. until after. You know what I'm saying? But Breezy was doing them a lot of shit. Breezy was done. You know what I'm saying? So, um. Get well, Breezy. I actually talked Get well, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Rest up. I saw that. I saw that, man. You know. Uh, and, not to cut you off, stuff. Uh, I want to make sure we stay on this because I, I, I think this is real in depth. Uh, do you think the drill culture kind of overshadowed some of what you was doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, I feel like motherfuckers like when they hear Fifi on the block or they hear anything like dancey, up tempo, and we ain't really talking about. If you listen to what I'm saying, the Fifi on the block. I'm talking about the same shit other niggas saying. Flea amigo, I get guap on turbo, don't get shot. It's just how you put it out. Right. I'm talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't smoking on doo-doo, smoking on dee-dee, doo-doo, doo-doo. I, I don't do all that shit. Mm-hmm. That's pump faking. You know what I'm saying? I don't do all that. But it was so many drill artists. It that shit overburied us, man. Completely like. It it was that shit overshadowed us, Joe. Like, and I mean, we we make me personally, I make raw ass music, Fair. and I ain't just saying that because it's me. I'm saying it because I make hits and I know real good. I know good music, and all these artists in Chicago who raw, I didn't wrote hooks for them, mm. and I got and they know it. I got the, I got proof. Everybody know I'm the hook guy. That's why I call myself that. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the drill. I like drill music. I like it. I like the beat. I just like the whole outline of it. But it's a people need to learn not to listen, literally listen to it and then go do it. Right. That's what's fucking us up. Right. Niggas is listening and really going to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's it's crazy. Yeah. Niggas don't got a mind of their own. Yeah. You know what? While we still on this, this is another thing I want to ask you while we still on this topic. Um, you know, I've been blocked for a while. And it seemed like every time I cut it on the internet and went to a YouTube video, it had this in the title something, but it had the words GDK to BDK War. I guess that was something that was going on in Chicago, right? That shit's still going on. Did that reach the west side? Because I seen a lot of that on the south side. Did some of that come to the west side? Nah, not really. I, I mean, if you everybody out, mainly everybody out west right under the fin. So they been dropping GD. Like, Vice Lords, The Foes, everybody. Every time they shake up, they drop GD. Mm-hmm. The Kings, everybody. If you ain't one love, you know what I'm saying? But, like, but they won like they won like just GD bomb blah 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 like they won right. uh they won doing it like that like for instance like a lot of shorties out west ain't even in tour with no GDs yo but they just be dropping GD I be like you in tour y'all in tour with some vice lord you in tour with some bowl you in- drop that <laughs> shit. Niggas ain't gonna drop the fin when you ride under the fin, bro. Or the black diamond, or, or, or whatever fuck they ride under, whatever fuck they call themselves. But 